Okay, if you wanted to analyze a bin, tank, or silo, um, you would click the structure type uh, option. Uh, all There's separate options for a bin, which you see here, um, silo, and tank. But as far as the code's concerned, they're all the same. We just have them listed separately because um, someone may not recognize that all three of those options will lead you to the same place. So I'm just going to call it a tank. That's the only thing it changes, just the terminology in the report. Um, and you'll see right off the bat I get a, a red square. That's because uh, we have Chapter 27, Part 1, which this section is written for buildings. It says acceptable value as a building, and I've got a tank. So it just means I need to go to Chapter 29, which is where all the structures considered other structures are, which are basically things other than a building. Um, so click Save, and then I'm going to go to the tank screen. There's a help screen for tanks. Um, you can read that for a little more detail. Um, but the its input's fairly simple, so we're going to say it's a 12-foot diameter tank, so that it updates on the screen as I'm entering it. Uh, it's 25 feet tall. It's enclosed on the top. Um, there's different options there. I can hover over that square and I can get a little more definition, which um, you'd probably, probably need to go to the code on this one to get much more explanation about what they mean for each of these. Um, and on the top, it could be a cone, it could be a dome, or it could be flat. So I'm going to pick conical. The height will change as well dynamically on the screen. Um, and then if it's on legs, you can see the legs appear. So I'm going to say it's five feet tall. There's four of them. And I'm going to say they're two foot. Uh, this could be, if, if it's square, it's going to use a higher coefficient to account for the higher wind load. If it's round, those are a little more aerodynamic and the coefficient's less, the, sh the shape factor. So in this case, I'm going to use this square because I'm going to treat them as if they were, let's say, I-beams. And then if I had more than uh, three or more tanks, then you have to consider some interference between the two or between the three or more. Uh, and, this, and so you put the center to center spacing. In this case, I'm going to ignore that. I don't have that. Um, and then if you go to CNC, you see that there's, there is a CNC option for a tank. Um, as long as it's less than 120 feet. So I will pick that. That brings up my CNC screen. And I'm just going to populate every single wind zone. And in this case, there's four wind zones. Okay. I'll save it. I'm going to call it tank. and then you can perform the analysis. In this case, it's giving me a warning because it says uh, my slope is greater than 30 degrees and so the limits of the procedure are exceeded. So my, uh, what, what was my cone height? I made it six feet. And the slope is, where's the slope? Right here. Slope of bend roof at outer edge is 45. So I picked some dimensions that were not within the boundaries of what this procedure would do. So uh, if I want to go back and fix that so that that doesn't happen, let's make it three feet. Okay, so that's no longer red um, and I'm not getting that error anymore. So it goes through, calculates the load. Here's a diagram to show you what a lot of these pressures are. Um, and then it will uh, give you the pressures on the roof. It'll give you the pressures on the floor, which in this case, the floor would be this section here on the bottom, since we're elevated. If you weren't elevated on legs, then the floor is not necessary because no wind 
uh, loads would be experienced on it, and then the load on the cylinder itself. That's all main wind force resisting system. Then if we go down to components and cladding, we would get the, uh, the pressures acting around the cylinder. And then here is a, uh, the pressures uh, P min and P max in each of the zones. And then these diagrams here will show you where those zones, where those zones are. So that, that's your wind pressures on a tank, bin, or silo.